I'm over by the swamp again because we are going to be looking for some snails. Now, this isn't going to be the whole episode, but I was making a thingy and I made some of these balloons because I think I'm going to tame Quetzal. And while I was making these balloons, they need polymer. And even though I had it, I was like, you know what? Normally I get snails for cementing paste, so I should get some snails. And in the last episode, I just did not do that. So we're going to look for some snails now. I think I spotted one back here. Yeah, there it is. And they're pretty easy to tame because all they need is the berry bag bait. I don't think there's anything nasty around. Uh, we'll just get two snails. What level are you? 15. Okay, perfect. So we're going to throw our little bait bag down. And we'll just put that right there. 15. Eat the, eat the bag bait. It's so excited. Ew, only 14? I was hoping it'd do more than that. Okay, so then we're gonna have to find another little level one. So yeah, with Quetzals, it's like they kind of just take the same stuff that all the carnivores take. So I did bring some exceptional kibble. And I brought all the different meat. So I feel like you have to attach it to the balloon because they don't land. And you can't just throw it and hope it, like grabs it and stuff so i don't know we're gonna try that today and hopefully it works because i was uh i've been talking about it for a while now and i am going to be moving my base and i think i know where i want to go and a quetzal could be helpful with that you know like you don't need a quetzal to do that i could technically just take what i got now and move it and you don't Okay, well, I'm going to finish taming up this snail and get me another one so then I can have them breed. Because that's crazy they can do that now. Alright, we got it. Also, I don't know what's going on. I think there's some weird bug or something like that. Uh, maybe something with the update with Ark. But I don't have any of my little ringy sounds. So, like, see? If I open my inventory, not there. Not that. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't have that. I don't have any of the chimes or anything like that. So... Sorry, uh, I've restarted my computer a bunch of times. I'm pretty sure it's just Ark. Now, we gotta find another snail. Uh, yeah, I guess it's just some update they did. I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's, uh, Ark 2 nonsense. I don't, <laughs> I don't know how you guys feel about that. Uh, I feel like, like, I was going to make a video about it, but then I was just like, so many people have made videos about it already, and just like, you know, hating on it the whole time. I just didn't think I needed to make another video, so I'm talking about it in this one. <laughs> so I don't know. Like, I feel like everyone's complaining about it, but the thing is, you're going to buy it. <laughs> everyone's going to buy it, and they're going to complain about it some more. So they're just not going to not buy it. Like, I know I'm going to buy it. But I don't even play on official anymore. You know, but it's... uh. I'm, I'm just curious to see, like, a, a revamped island, you know? Or see how different it is. There we go, there's our snack and snail. Level 15. And snail number two. Okay, so I'm over by the canyon right now, which, I mean, is right by the swamp, and... I remember seeing a Quetzal over here. Now, I don't know if it did despawn. I don't really remember what level it was. But a Quetzal is a Quetzal. Like, I feel like, like yeah, you want a high level one, but I don't know. Like, you you can you can level it up in the right spots, definitely. So we're going to see if it's still here. If not, then I'm going to have to find it someplace else in the map. But that's okay. Hopefully the Quetzal's still around here somewhere. Now, the only thing that I'm worried about, at least around here, is maybe Griffins and Argies. Just kind of getting the bait, because I have no idea how the bait works. I don't know if it floats and it keeps going upward, or if it just... I don't know. But first, we got to find the Quetzal and try it out. Oh, there's a Quetzal. I don't know why they're so weird. It's like all the big creatures, man, they take a long time to like. You have to like get right up on them for them to spawn in. 
Okay, so what level are you? Level 100. Okay. That's not the worst. It's not the best, but not the worst. Alright, so now let's see what we gotta do here. Now, there is an RG right there. What level is this RG? You know, I'm gonna get rid of it just in case. Just in case. I think this is actually a high level RG because I remember, like, kind of being over here looking for RGs and stuff. Are you just gonna hit me in the back? Come on, man. Spin around. Ooh, am I even hitting it? Barely. Oh, such a stupid mechanic. I just want to, like, just swat at it with my feet. I just want to have a footsie battle, you know? There we go. Okay, so the Quetzal is really going over there where all the other RGs are. Now, looking in my inventory here, this says the bait balloon, a sturdy balloon made out of hide and polymer. Attach this to baits to allow them to float into the air, or if submerged, to the water surface. Will automatically attach when placed in the hot bar next to a thrown bait. Can be manually attached to any bait that has already been thrown. Okay, so we're going to try the prime first. And what I understand is if I put this next to it, it should automatically do it, right? It should automatically. See, where the Quetzal go? Where? I guess it's out of out of the range again. Okay. Quetzal. Oh, there you are. Where are you going? Man, Quetzal's booking it. Okay, so should automatically do it. Now, if I end up taming something else below, I'm not going to really worry about it because it is just the raw meat. Right, we're going to test this out, though. Hopefully, it's just kind of like a thing that just, like, goes in front here. Uh, Hey, buddy. I think it's a girl. Hey, girl, buddy. Everybody's buddy. There you go. Oh! Look at that! Nice! Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, that was simple enough. Ugh, awful. <laughs> so, raw meat, awful. Now, I did bring a bunch of different things, so... I guess it's just gonna, yeah, it's gonna kind of follow me around a little bit, I guess, because it is blue. But let's try the next bait. So that did 1.4, and then what, the prime meat is next. Hello? What are you doing? Okay. Yeah, the game is like really mm -mm today. Like, it's very buggy today. Okay, so we're going to do the same. I brought 20 balloons. I don't know if it'll be enough. I don't know if after a certain point it'll actually land, you know, like the RG did. It should follow. Me. Okay, so we don't have to be super close to it. Look at it. Look, look at it. Here you go. Num, num, num. All right. Now, how much does that do? 5.4, so it only did like 4%. I might have to get more balloons. I don't know. We shall see. Okay, let's try the mutton. And then I do have kibble, which, I mean, I'm probably going to use the rest of the kibble and then the rest of the mutton. Because this taming is not, not that great. Look at the mutton. <laughs> is it going to turn around, though? Please turn around. That's a mutton. That's mutton. Okay. And we are at 5. 5% five it does. Jeez. Oh, man. I wish I had some, like, better kibble. Okay, so I got 5 kibble here. It's probably going to do, like, 10, maybe. I think we're going to run out of balloons. You're probably going to run out of balloons. Are you landing? Don't land over here. Land on that rock. That rock's nice. I mean, I guess that, yeah, that would be ideal if it could land, then I could just hand feed it. Well, we're only at 10%. Hey, you. Okay. Should be okay now. 
I'm going to throw the kibble out. What does this look like? It's flying cat throw up. And how much did that do? 10. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to feed it the rest of the kibble here. And then I guess the rest of the meat, I hope that it starts liking me so I can pet it and stuff. You know? I mean, that should be one more feeding. And then it should do the, oh, it likes you and might do all this other stuff with you. Look at it going. Go get it. It's a waste of kibble. Female Pteranodon. Man, you wasted my kibble. Good kibble. All right, so you do kind of have to be close to it or else, you know, the Pteranodons are going to be all like, yeah. There you go. Eat that, please. Okay, no longer sees me as a threat. Okay, I got two more, so maybe it'll actually land over here. Let's let's try and land. Will you follow me? Because that would be good. And then it doesn't matter because then I have plenty of meat and then I can just hand feed it. It's annoying. It's, it's not going to do as much, but... Another kibble bait. Don't make me waste my kibble bait. Like, I can't even pick it back up. <laughs> I can't even pick it back up. No. You're expensive. That one didn't automatically attach to the balloon for some reason. Oh, but it does land. It does land. Okay. Good. No, you stay down here. Yeah, it might actually follow me a little bit. So I'm going to come back over to the RG rock. This is the rock that I tamed the RG on. Oh, I'm so mad about the, the other kibble, though. Because, yeah, the meat doesn't do as much. It does not at all. I'm going to be here for a minute. Okay, let's see if I could throw that out over there. Oh. Now the balloon's working again. Alright, I'm wasting a lot of stuff here. What are you doing? Don't go down there. And... There we go. Okay, may start following me around. Good, you better. Maybe I can uh, find that other kibble. Floated off into space. Oh, look, there's a griffin down there. I don't have my spyglass on. What level is that griffin? Ew. Ew. <laughs> yeah, it's following me a little bit, it seems like. So I, I want to be able to hand feed it so then I can uh, see how much difference that does. I don't have any more kibble. There we go. It looks like it's going to land. All right, nice. Okay, so we could probably just tame the rest of it from the, the rock here. Oh, it's going to float. It's going to do the floaty thing. Okay, I can pet it. Wow, it's magical. That was like a free willy moment. Yeah, it kind of just flies away and then it'll come back and stuff. Because I don't want to feed it like that again. I want to hand feed it. Because it'll do a little bit more. And then I can pet it as well. Here she comes. Oh, she landed. Oh, cool. Okay, care for her. There we go. Now we're getting some points. Alright, she might just stay here. Just stay here. Whoa, so big. <laughs> you know what? It's funny because it's just like they're not really scary in this game. But they made them really scary in Jurassic Park. Yeah, because she was around like 60% and then hand feeding her and then petting her and stuff did nine points. So before it was doing like five with the mutton. So yeah, it seems to be the same pattern. It's like 
get them up, get them trusting you, and then hand feed them. Hey, what are you doing? No, I can't fly. What are you doing? Let me throw that out there like that. There you go. Here she comes. Look at that insulting griffin down there. <laughs> oh, it did. no, it didn't do more. I thought it did more for a second. I was just doing math wrong. Okay, so even if I have to do them all by balloons, that it's about twenty five more points. So I should be able. To, I should be okay. Should be all right. Yeah, she doesn't land all the time, but she does come back in the area. So some of them have to be with the balloon, and then some of them can be hand fed. Like I think if I had another Quetzal, you can kind of just like float alongside of it, like you know keep doing stuff or if i had uh a buddy or something honestly how you like normally tame a quetzal i feel like but yeah if i had somebody else like holding me and then i could like you know go over there that would also work see when she comes in kind of low like this i think she's gonna hit me and i should be able to feed her yep there you go can i care for you Pet? There's a pet? Let me get a care for her. No! Yeah, this whole time she's only actually landed, landed once. So, But yeah, I guess this would be in an ideal location because it's like I'm on a pillar and nothing else is really around me. No! Oh, oh my gosh, you would kill me. <laughs> oh, you almost kill me. I feed you to good mutton. I don't got any more kibble because you let it go to waste and Tyranodon ate it. And then the other one went off into the Ark. She should honestly be one more feeding and then we should be good. Well, maybe not one more feeding because I'm going to have to float it up there. Da, da, da. Yeah, and I can't pet her. Let me pet you. Let me pet you. <laughs> so get... Just one more point. Two more points. Eh. Uh, yeah, she. Oh, come on, girl. Yo, get over here. Yeah, it's one more feeding. Get it. There we go. All right, we got our. <laughs> just got tea bagged by the. I mean, I guess girls can still tea bag you, but we just got tea bagged by the Quetzal. All right. Uh, yeah, we got our Quetzal, and it's not a great color, like usual. Like that's just. I don't know. Maybe I should just make that my thing. I I just get all the poopy colors. But yeah, I mean, like the stats aren't bad. The stats are not bad. There we go. We got our Quetzal. All right. So that wasn't too bad overall. I feel like it. It was a little wonky, and I feel like maybe a different creature would be a little bit easier. Maybe I don't. I don't know because it's like. I feel like out of all the flyers, aside from a Pteranodon, and then maybe like the little moth and stuff, but I I feel like all of them are all hostile, so it's like that, you wouldn't be able to get close to them anyway until they get to that point where they're like, cool, you know? But I figured I'd show you guys where I was thinking about building, because I've never built over before, and it's a more of a central location. Uh, I will show you. So I was thinking about building here. Uh, I don't know if I exactly want to build on the bridge because that could be cool. Like this whole little block could be a thing. And then you have the two gates and stuff. Or there is another space right over here. And this could be cool to build on as well. Like we have we have a couple little uh, water things. We got a little water wells and then just like this little structure here. So this could also be cool too. But yeah, it is in a more central location. Not exactly dead center, but more in the middle. So then I don't have to go as far to certain areas. I feel like it's more like equal, I guess. Also, it just gives me a chance to kind of just build in a structure, which I always find fun. Like one playthrough I did on Ragnarok, my friend and I actually rebuilt the castle. Now, I'm not the best builder, but I think it's I think it's kind of fun to repair this stuff. Now this could be a cool thing too, have a little base up here, and then it kind of builds 
off of the cliff a little bit. And then I'm just like living living up in the cliffs. You know? I think that's kind of cool. As far as the Quetzal's concerned, I feel like it's like you kind of just need to kibble tame it. Uh, I didn't have any extraordinary kibble, but I'm sure that would have been a little bit more. Maybe 15%, possibly. But yeah, it seems like these, these tougher tames maybe are just kibble all the way, you know? So I'm not quite high enough level for the... Where is it at? Uh, right here. I'm not quite high enough level for the platform saddle, but I don't really need the platform saddle in order to bring stuff over. It's more just like the weight of it. Uh, so I can kind of just use this if I need to, or I can just have them tail the RG or whatever. Uh, Cause I don't have a ton of stuff, but I do have to bring some stuff over. But yeah, I would say that pretty much wraps it up for this video. That was interesting as far as the way that I I'm glad that they had a bait like that. Like that, that was nice. But if you found yourself enjoying the video, give it a like and subscribe for more stuff like this. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for hanging out with me and take care.